In this video, we're going to show you the best and strongest seed trays to start your seeds in. And we're going to start right now. What's going on YouTube gardeners? It's your boy Sydney from the Naked Gardener channel. If this is your first time to this channel and you're timid about gardening or would like to learn different DIY projects that you can use for your garden area or even would like to learn some of the recipes that we use from the vegetable from our backyard garden, then start right now by subscribing to our channel and making sure you hit the bell icon so that way you get notified when we upload our videos weekly. Now let's get growing. What's going on YouTube gardeners? We're gonna do the unboxing of a product that we bought from Bootstrap Farmer. It's some seedling trays. Now, the reason why we uh, purchased some seedling trays, last year was our first full year of actually doing some backyard gardening. And as y'all probably know, dealing with seedling trays, they tend to warp, crack, get misused, especially during the Texas heat that we have here. Like for instance, Monday it was below freezing and now tomorrow it's gonna be above 70 degrees, just like that within three days. So what this would basically do, I've seen uh, different YouTube gardeners uh, use these products like Mike from uh, The Fit Farmer and Jess from Roots and Refuge uh, recommend these things. So what we're gonna do is do an unboxing of what we've ordered. All right. Most people would throw this out, but what I would do is I would shred it up and put it in our compost. Now, the thing I like about the Bootstrap Farmer is their seedling trays come in a variety of colors. Like for instance, they come in blue, green, and I believe purple. Blue, green, yellow, and white. That was the other one. So, these are pretty heavy. reason why I like them is that they have deep cells. There we go. They're a lot heavier. You can see they're stronger. Uh, they have a lot, they have some ridges. I'm not sure if you can see right here. They have some ridges on here that make it, it makes it strong and sturdy. Because normally when you're transplant, if you're ever used to doing any seed starts in here, you almost have to ba almost baby the baby these. But with these, you almost can do it with one hand compared to what you see from here. Uh, they have the deep cell, so when you do bottom watering, which I normally do. Unless you do, on, if you only have one tray, then you could do top water with a spray uh, spray bottle. But if you as, if you can see from here, I got ten cells. What we normally do, we started with last year. Uh, bottom water is a lot faster. You can just fill fill the tray up with the uh, with water and just let it soak in there for about thirty minutes to an hour and it, uh, the soil would basically soak up the water like a sponge. But I like these so far. Uh, most seedling trays are a, I hope I say this correctly, I'm gonna leave a des uh, description right there, a poly, polylethylene, a, a poly, polystyrene, styrofoam type ordeal. Uh, it's very cheap and flimsy. This one is considered a polypropylene, uh, and uh, what this basically is, is a dishwasher microwave safe, so it can withstand high heat and uh, will not warp or uh, crack or anything of that nature. So if you're using this in the microwave, 
Um, just sanit uh, sanitize any of your seed starting soil. I'll leave a link up here to show you how we normally uh, sterilize our seed starting mix. Or if you just want to sanitize these after the end of the growing season, just stick them into the dishwasher and you don't have to worry about uh, it warping out, just leave it on the drying rack upside down or however, and you can just dry from there and then you can reuse it from there. Um, these come with a two year warranty. Uh, so that's another plus I like about these. So if you have any problems or issues with those, all you have to do is uh, contact the bootstrap farmer and they will replace it for you. Uh, the, the only con I can see about these is the price wise. Uh, for 10 of these, it costs me 50, about $55. Compared to about 10 of these, it was going to cost you anywhere from 18 to $35. But as you can see, you probably get one full season uh, with those. With these, you, you almost, the way I'm looking at it, you almost get a lifetime of these. So that's the, uh, the con is not that much compared to the pros that goes with these uh, seedling trays. But with this one, Look at that. Just imagine carrying some seedling trays in there. No me gusta. Over here, pretty, pretty door. Now, the standards of these about 10 by 20. I also got these strong, oh, these are some hefty strong boards right here. The seed starts with these and these are even a lot stronger and durable than what you normally would get from the from the uh, seed starting stores or in big box stores. As you can see, that's nothing. You can't even do that with these. So that's. Uh, the wrap of this video comment down below to let us know what products that you use to extend your growing seeds whether you use a seed starting tray or if you use aluminum foil whatever it may be we would like to know what how do you start your seed to extend your growing season if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the like button if you like this video if you have any family members or friends that are interested in to extending their growing season, make sure you share this video with them so that way they too can understand the difference between a good quality of seed starting trays and what a first year seed starting tray. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you also hit the bell icon so that way you can get notified when we do our videos weekly. And as always, let's grow together.